let's move on to the fun part. Uh, second piece of equipment, whatever you want to call it, you need to make music is the uh, recording software itself, which is called DAW DAW Digital Audio Workstation. That was another uh, fun part, picking it out, and, and it was it was one of the probably hardest one for me because when you're starting out, and I've used some of them in the past, but they've changed a lot. And again, I went back to people and asked them, and, and I read online, what are you using? What are the advantages, disadvantages? Which one would you recommend for for doing music? And I'm more mostly gonna do dance music and uh, and electronic music. I want to put some vocals in it. And I went out there and researched this, and same thing. It's like Mac versus PC, BMW versus Mercedes. Man, everybody loves their own. Everybody. It, it really came down. Most of the professionals actually use multiple of uh, the DAWs. Uh, not just one, they primarily use one, but they also use another one. So the good thing is that you can actually patch multiple recording uh, programs together. So, so you can make sounds or instruments or, or, or audio loops or something in one, bring them into the other one. That was good news. Uh, and it really, again, came down to one thing, and it is what people like themselves. Some of them love this one, some of them love this one. Bottom line, guys, every recording software will do the same thing for you. They do the same thing. They're high quality, they're really good uh, piece of uh, software, and they'll do the same thing. What the difference is, is how they accomplish it. Instead of, uh, on one of them you have to do these two steps to do the same thing, on the other one you have to do these three steps to do the same thing. So it really comes down to the workflow on each of them, in each of them. Uh, that's it. Uh, if you are already using one, one of the main ones that I'm going to talk about, uh, if you're already using a Cakewalk, uh, if you're already using Pro Tools, or if you're already using Ableton Live, you, you stick with it. If you're good at it, if you're already cranking out music, Again, it's like you know, switching from PC to Mac. If you don't have a reason, if you if if you're doing good music in one of them, I didn't see people recommending switching to another one for for what to 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 learn to spend months again on learning the other one. Now, if you if you're comfortable and you wanna you wanna you know uh, expand and and try something new and go ahead and and do that. I kind of knew how to use them, wasn't really uh, uh, good at any of them, <laughs> so it was easy to pick for me. I picked Ableton Live uh, because enough people use it, it had great reviews, uh, I looked at it, now again download the demo version of all of them, I downloaded uh, FL Studio as well, really, really cool piece of software, uh, just as good. I mean, an amazing piece of software, I just liked personally better Ableton Live's uh, interface. Uh, I'm not going to get into why, what interface, again, it's not about that, it's just, just reporting what I bought. Uh, it has, it was, it was easy, it, it does everything I need, it really does, it, it, it patches in other programs if I decide to use them, it's great interface, uh, it supports a bunch of gear uh, as MIDI controllers, uh, and a lot of people use it, that was pretty much enough, and I tried it, I downloaded it, I was comfortable with it, now first when I opened it, Honestly, I had to go through some demo videos on Ableton, Ableton's website. It wasn't intuitive right away. <laughs> it was, it was, it's pretty. It's, it, it looks good, but I had a hard time to, to to do stuff with it. And I'm like, you know what? Let me give it a try. At first, I was skeptical. You know, I'm, yeah, I don't know. I'm not feeling it. I like to open up a software and be like, oh, okay, click, click, click. Oh, this sounds good. It wasn't the case. I opened the damn thing and it was. And I was like, okay, this looks sophisticated, but what the heck do I click on? And uh, eventually, I, I, I did some videos, watched some videos, and, and, and it, it came together. There's a little learning curve, but once you learn it, that thing is awesome. It, it, it's speedy. It's speedy. It's, it's wonderful what I think for uh, uh, designing music uh, and mixing music. And you can be really creative on the go, on the fly, try different things, then record them. I love it. So uh, I'll also post uh, some of the best recording software uh, that I found on the web. I'll post it on the, in, uh, underneath the video. 
but but uh, just off top of my head again it's Ableton Live, it's Cakewalk, it's Pro Tools and it's uh, FL Studio. Now I can't remember off top of my head most of them work on PC and a Mac there are some that will not work uh, on a Mac or on a PC just just when you do a demo or you buy them watch out for that uh, there's pretty much nothing else I want to talk about there's some free software I uh, did not look into it uh, GarageBand comes with Mac it's good I mean that <laughs> did some cool stuff with it uh, but but it's 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 free and I just wanted to jump and and get something professional prices I forgot now you you this is the laptop is gonna be probably your most expensive item uh, but then the digital audio workstation the recording software is probably gonna run you some some chunk of money if you get the pro version of, of, of items uh, I able to live I think the suite is about six hundred dollars now it comes with tons of uh, uh, I would say instruments and, 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 and sounds and drum loops and it comes with a lot of stuff but and I thought it was gonna be enough until I discovered Nexus plugins and, and some other plugins I can't remember I'll get to them when I play them but I, I've, I've played with Nexus and, and boy they're expensive if you want if you want the whole suite uh, if you just want their if you they chunk it down what you, what you can buy when you want if you want to buy just certain uh, sounds for electronic music you can I can't remember it's like fifty dollars but if you want the whole suite everything it could be about two thousand dollars so uh, yeah that's that's one of the things I spent more money on than I wanted to but but boy that thing is amazing again uh, we'll probably do a video on that just just using plugins because I love them and I'll show you with some of the music I already started to produce